So with my service learning project, I really had a good time making it. It was a very learning experience and it really did help me look more in depth with nutrition, not only with 40 year olds, but I got to see um, how nutrition relates with everyone of all ages. So what did I learn in this in health assessment that contributed to my service learning project? So in health assessment, we, for example, went over the musculoskeletal system. And so when going over the musculoskeletal system, I got to see how the different ages, there's different things that you notice and you see with that. And so in my presentation, I brought up how you lose muscle mass and stuff as you get older. And so you can use protein to help with the loss of that. And we also learned about uh, a lot of the different health conditions that come and risk factors for them, like with um, cardiovascular, um, different heart diseases and stuff, we see risk factors for, and most of the time those risk factors among those are age. So that was also in my presentation too, that with age comes the risk, the increased risk for different health conditions and health problems. And to finish up, in what way did um, my service learning project contribute positively to the community? Um, well, my parents are both in their 40s. So I really wanted to do this service learning project about something that I could help with. And so I want to help with my parents keeping up their nutrition to let them live as long as they can, because I don't think I'm ready to lose them anytime soon. So I feel like that my service learning project would contribute positively to my own community because my parents are in their 40s. Um, but other than that, um, I'm was grateful for this experience and getting to do research and find a way to help people that are close and near and dear to me.